Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is a couple private search engines that I think are um, kind of the leading two uh, as far as private search engines go. Uh, there are a number of other options out there, but these I think are the two that uh, I think warrant you know, a review and a quick comparison to help you decide which one's better for you and um, you know, the benefits, the pros and cons of each one. So those two search engines are DuckDuckGo and StartPage. Um, I posted a few videos about DuckDuckGo in the past. Um, it's a great option. It's very user friendly. It's easy to use. It's simple and uh, provides fairly solid search results. Uh, StartPage, on the other hand, um, is a great, great choice for a private search engine especially if you are coming from Google. If you've been using Google for a number of years and you're comfortable with Google search results, uh, but you want to start protecting your search privacy a little better. Uh, StartPage uses Google's results, but it uh, doesn't have all the tracking and the uh, like data profile that Google stores about you uh, while still providing the high quality results from Google. Um, so I'm going to share my screen here and just show you guys a little comparison of the two search engines and kind of just give you a rundown of how they work and what you can expect from each one. All right, so here is a preview of the home page of both StartPage and DuckDuckGo. Uh, as you can see, StartPage is a little cleaner here. Um, I think after you've used DuckDuckGo and you have a cookie in your browser, um, the home page will look a little bit different. It might not have all this extra uh, privacy information down here. Uh, but you can see both pages, you know, pretty straightforward. They have a search bar uh, where you type in your search term. <clears throat> uh, DuckDuckGo is also promoting its uh, browser extension here, which is probably a, a good choice for anyone wanting to use DuckDuckGo. Um, but doesn't want to have to go to DuckDuckGo.com every time to search. So this can make DuckDuckGo your default browser, uh, add some tracker blocking, and then also make sure that sites you visit are redirected to HTTPS so they're encrypted. Um, if we scroll down over here on Start Page, you get a little history of Start Page, uh, kind of the tech behind it and how it works and how it keeps your searches private. Uh, a couple of press mentions here, a little more information about the privacy features of start page, you know, filter bubble, and then the option to set start page as your default search engine. Now default search, that's, uh, that's gonna make it so whenever you search from your browser bar uh, in the top of your browser, uh, you're, you're gonna use start page instead of, you know, most browsers come with Google enabled by default. Uh, making start page your default browser makes it way easier to search privately uh, so you don't have to you know, type in startpage.com and then come to this landing page every time. Uh, if we scroll down on DuckDuckGo, we get some information about their browser extension and then a number of frequently asked questions, uh, which are probably a good, good idea to kind of run through if you're going to use DuckDuckGo just to get an understanding of the search engine itself and how it works and how it keeps your searches private. So I guess let's just start off with a simple search like dogs. And so you can see here, um, start page, still pretty clean, simple design. Um, the first thing I notice is that you get three ads when searching with start page, which could be kind of annoying if you're gonna use it for your everyday search engine, having to scroll down past those ads every time might get annoying. Uh, DuckDuckGo, on the other hand, has two ads and they don't take up as much space as the start page ads. Um, another thing that jumps off the page on the DuckDuckGo side is this uh, Wikipedia widget here and this ad in the side rail. You'll notice that start page doesn't include a side rail ad or any information in the side rail. Um, DuckDuckGo also includes news results, which um, is good if you're searching for like, you know, recent topics, but you'll see that, uh, you know, this, I'm just looking for dogs. I don't know if any of these are terribly relevant to my search. 
Uh, DuckDuckGo includes a preview of the image search on the search results page, and then uh, obviously the results below there. Um, and then over on the start page side, uh, you have a number of results. Um, and a cool feature that start page has that DuckDuckGo doesn't include is this anonymous view feature. And so if I click the anonymous view, it basically opens the search result in this like proxy window so that um, the websites I visit aren't able to track me. They'll just see that, you know, this, this is coming from start page. So I'm still able to access the websites, but uh, I have some protection against the tracking of the website I wanna visit. So this can be valuable if you see a search result that looks like it could answer your question, but you're not confident in the like legitimacy or the um, you know, safety and security of a certain website. Um, and then the next thing I wanted to dive into is you'll notice that on start page, you have web images, videos, and news. Um, and for most searches that should uh, fit your needs, uh, it can accomplish, help you find what you're looking for. DuckDuckGo has a couple more. In addition, it has maps, uh, meanings, and the maps feature is the real, only real big difference here. Um, so if we type, let's say Honolulu, So on the DuckDuckGo side, I'm able to access the maps feature. Um, you'll notice this is not, it's not gonna be as detailed and as like specific as Google Maps, just because you know it can't track your current location. Uh, it can take a estimate kind of based on where your IP address is and stuff, but it's not always very accurate. You might get something in a nearby state that's not quite where you are, but this is OpenStreetMaps, provided by OpenStreetMaps, I believe, unless it's uh, Apple Maps. No, oh, it's provided by Apple Maps. That was a recent switch DuckDuckGo made over to Apple Maps, which I'm definitely a fan of. Uh, if you're an iPhone user, you'll be familiar with Apple Maps. Um, should be able to find anything you're looking for. Uh, jumping back over to Start Page, you'll see that there is no option for maps. So if you're wanting to use a private maps provider, um, I'd recommend using that like on your phone because uh, you know having something on your desktop really isn't gonna be that helpful when you're actually going to the place. So Apple Maps or an alternative on Android or um, some other app can help you with the navigation feature. So I'm not too worried that Start Page doesn't include a map search um, because if I'm using it on my desktop, um, I'm probably not going to be doing that much uh, map searching. Um, and then I just wanted to try a couple other searches just to show you. So let's say I'm looking for uh, some tennis shoes. So this is more of a shopping term. And I just want to show you, um, see DuckDuckGo includes shopping results here. So they might not always be the most relevant, um, I guess, tennis shoes is kind of a gen generic search term, but uh, you'll just notice that DuckDuckGo includes shopping results uh, from a number of different sources. I think uh, they used to just have Amazon results and now they obviously include results from a number of different merchants. Um, Start page doesn't include shopping results, which um, can kind of make the user experience better if you're uh, not looking for products because um, sometimes those product results take up space on the search page when it's not really relevant, but it'll just show some kind of random or related products to your search term. Um, and I guess that kind of brings me to another point is uh, DuckDuckGo has a lot more of these featured sections. So like the shopping results here, or let's say I, I search for when is Labor Day you'll see that DuckDuckGo just gives me the answer there. Um, and with start page, they're not going to include that answer widget. Now they do have a, this, I think this is probably from Wikipedia, just kind of giving you a description of what Labor Day is, but not answering your question directly. And 
That's what I think sets DuckDuckGo apart from many of the other private search engines is that they've actually built out a lot of these uh, featured snippets. So if you're looking for the answer to your question, DuckDuckGo is more likely to help you find a simple answer like this uh, than start page is. And then I guess I'll just show you. So if I'm looking for like, uh, I'm trying to think of a, like a, just a generic search term that I would do on a regular basis, like bang energy drink. Just to show you guys kind of the difference between the two results. Um, so you'll see the ads on DuckDuckGo. There's a couple ads, one's from Campbell's and one's from Amazon. So these are kind of generic. I don't think they really fit my search term that well. And then over on the start page side, uh, you see you're getting those two ads as well. And then Instacart result. Uh, and then scrolling down a little more, I think DuckDuckGo does a better job of showing me what I'm likely looking for. They're providing the home page of this website as opposed to uh, this link to a 12 pack, which I'm not necessarily interested in. I'm more interested in the home page if I type in a brand name specifically. Um, and then I'm getting like a few blog resources and then Amazon links, YouTube. Um, on the DuckDuckGo side, I'm getting an article, Walmart link, and then some video links embedded on the page, which is helpful. And these are probably more relevant than, um, you know, some of these links over on the start page side. Uh, so that's a quick rundown of the two private search engines that I'm reviewing. Uh, just wanted to give you guys kind of a peek into the differences between the two and the results uh, that each provides. Um, so on the start page side, I definitely recommend start page and I think it's a great tool for people who are used to Google and want to switch to a private search engine. Um, but as you can see from some of the uh, sample searches I did, you know, the results aren't always up to par. They're, even though they're provided by Google, they're not always going to answer your question as well as Google does. Um, and then on the DuckDuckGo side, um, kind of the same issue. If you're moving over from Google, you might run into some issues with a few types of searches that Google would obviously do a better job of answering just because it has your browsing history. It has information about who you are and what you're likely to click on. Uh, so both of those search engines are going to have different results than Google just because one, they're private and with DuckDuckGo, uh, the search results are actually sourced from somewhere else. So um, that's one thing to note if you're switching to a private search engine, that's just going to be the reality with something that's not tracking you. The results can feel a little less relevant, but it's something that you can definitely adapt and get used to, um, you know, within a few days of using um, a private search engine. Um, another thing I wanted to note about StartPage is that it was purchased by an internet advertising company um, within the last year or so. And I think we can kind of see some of those changes. Um, although the company has been super outspoken that they're still dedicated to protecting your privacy, um, I, you know, I noticed that the, that the ads are taking up more real estate on the start page side, which can make the user experience a little less friendly and can kind of turn off some users that they're, uh, you know, presented with a number of ads every time they search for something. Uh, so that's one thing to know about start page. And just a note about private search engines, privacy tools in general, um, they can easily change hands. And that's kind of the threat with any company that is collecting your data. Like, Google is huge and collecting all of your data, but what if they sell to the Chinese government, for example? Um, then the Chinese government has access to all that information. And so that's kind of one reason why I encourage people to use privacy-friendly products is because if the company doesn't have all of your information, they can't sell the company and your data to other companies uh, and then you know share your data with something that you might not be comfortable with. So when you use something like StartPage or DuckDuckGo, you don't really have to worry that 
um, even if like, let's say Google acquires StartPage or acquires DuckDuckGo, um, you're not gonna have to worry about Google suddenly having access to all of your search history um, because the search engines themselves didn't collect that information. Uh, so I really recommend private search engines. Uh, I hope this video helped give you a better idea of whether StartPage or DuckDuckGo is a better option for you. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'd be more than happy to help answer your questions. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, I'd really appreciate it and it really helps me spread privacy around the internet, which is my goal with this channel. So thanks for watching and have a great day.